let's talk about two common mistakes that I see students make when solving literal equations. The first one seems pretty straightforward. Like I just need to solve for y, I'm going to add the 10x on both sides and I get a 5y equals 10x plus two. Now here's where the mistake will happen. Students know they need to divide by a five on both sides, but they know that five goes into 10. So they're like, all right, I'll just leave that. And five doesn't go into two. So maybe they forget to divide the five into both thumbs or they just don't like fractions. And they're like, you know what? Maybe my teacher will not even notice and I'll just leave that in there. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that's not the way it works. This five is indeed divided into 10x as well as divided into the two. The reason being is these two terms are separated by addition. So when we're dividing our side by five, we need to make sure we divide the five into both of those terms. So that is incorrect. And the final answer is y equals a two x plus a two over five, which is going to be a fraction. Now the next mistake gets students confused all the time because they see two different y's and typically they're like, well, we can combine these, but unfortunately we can't combine these because they're not like terms. So what students will try to do is say, well, let me just get this x, y over to the other side. So then I have four y equals x, y plus eight, and then I can divide by four on both sides and solve it. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, when we're trying to solve a literal equation, we need to find this one variable alone all by itself and only one of them. So this is not gonna be the right process. What we need to do is kind of go back into thinking about quadratics and what did we do when we wanted to solve for a variable where we had maybe more than one. And if you remember that technique, it starts with an F, rhymes with tractoring, and yes, it's going to be factoring. Now, in this case, we don't have a quadratic, but we do have two different Y's. So what I wanna do is say, or think about, well, these two expressions both share a y. So what I can do is factor out the y, and by doing that, I'm now going to rewrite this expression as a product. That is what factoring is, taking an expression and rewriting it as a product. Now, I know students still get confused with this, so just remember, you can always multiply that y back to check your work. y times four is four y, y times negative x is a negative x y. But now, since I have y times this expression, four minus x, all I need to do to solve for y is just subtract or divide by the expression four minus x, and I get y equals a eight over a four minus X. 